The Sterkfontein Caves and the surrounding area have been declared a World Heritage Site, Cradle of Humankind. It is an area of limestone caves that have yielded a number of hominem, that is pre-human fossils, from a period 3,4 million years to 250,000 years ago. The caves were first discovered in 1896 by an Italian prospector who was looking for gold. He blasted his way into the caves and found rich deposits of limestone and breccia that contained bone fragments. Researchers under Dr. Robert Broom of the Transvaal Museum discovered many hominid fossils. Dr. Robert Broom's discovery of a near-perfect cranium and other bones which resembled Australopithecus africanus made front-page news throughout the world. Broom named the species Plesianthropus transvalensis, near man from the Transvaal. His co-workers gave the skull the nickname Mrs. Pless. The facilities of the cradle of humankind at Maraping include a self-guided visitor center where displays show the bones discovered and the deductions made by archaeologists as they have painstakingly pieced together the developmental route taken by man over millions of years. The cyclists of Grandad's army are going to ride 1,500 kilometers in 14 days. They will follow roads that, especially in the low felt, may have been the paths made by herds of elephants and followed on foot by the people who lived there in ancient times, now by cars, trucks and our granddad's army on their bicycles. They may notice cans of stones on the roadside. This is an African tradition called Isivavane. Long ago, when a man set out walking to a far destination, he would stop at points where the paths split. He would pick up a stone and make two prayers. One for the people who had walked that way before and wishing that their journey had been successful and happy. The second for the people who would walk that path after him. The stone would then be added to the pile on the side of the road. In the spirit of Ubuntu, he would not pray for himself, believing that others would have done that for him. May our cyclists have safe and happy travels.